What's up, YouTube? Hard Rock TCG here with another video today. Um, today is an exciting deck profile for the deck that I have chosen to play for the Top Cut event tomorrow. And I went second place yesterday with it um, at a 30 person tournament uh, local that we have. It actually was very large and it did very well. And it got me another one of these cool boxes. It's my second one. Um, it's a deck that needs no introduction. It is Blue Imperial Jamon. So I'm going to go through the list here. It is very similar to the list that won last Saturday, the um, uh, Dan Vang's Blue Imperial, with one exception. And I'm going to go through that here. So we have, starting off, four Demi Vimon. I've chosen to just play the four, not the Upa. Uh, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's an amazing card. <laughs> you need it. Then we have four Vimon. We have three Gabumon. We have two of this Vimon. Now this Vimon's really cool because when you play Imperial Jamon to uh, to unsuspend, you actually get the benefit of drawing a card once per turn, which is really cool. So um, when this Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, you can trigger draw one card. So it's really cool to have a couple of those. A split here, three Elecmon, three Gomamon, and that rounds out the rookies. So we play here. Uh, 15, which is a, a healthy amount. It's also great if we have to get into a scenario where we have to rush. Uh, you know, we do have the rookies available, which is cool. And all the, the two, uh, you know, the low cost, the two costs, uh, 3000s are always good. So here's where my list differs a little bit. So I'm playing the three Grillamon, but I'm also playing one of Tobiumon. Now, all the rest is in the format, and having <laughs> having um, the DDG Evolve One, and then and then like DDG Evolve One, and like a Dino B or an Imperial, it can it can blow this up, and that is that is a reality. I like it because it's an extra rusher, so it's it's a it's a three cost extra rusher if you need it. And let's say you're being put at a lot of memory, you can kind of get back up sort of quickly. But I'm only playing one because I feel like it's the Grillamon is still better. But situationally, the Toby Uman is nice, and it has come in handy for me. So I really like it, especially uh, at the at the larger turn, uh, the thirty person tournament we had uh, just a couple days ago. So that's that's where my list varies. Everything else is pretty much the same. We have three XV Mon. We have two Grizzly Mon for the blockers. Just two. You could do three too, but I like um, I really like just two. And then three Lobomon. So for Davis, and then just Digivolving in general, it's it's a really great versatile card. It, it wins games, it really does. So next we're doing the really standard eight level fives. We have the Pyildramon, another card that needs no introduction. It's super, super stupid good. And then we also play the Dino Beamon with the piercing. So, you know, you have to decide which one you want for the right situation. But uh, I often want to play Pyil Dramon more than I want to play Dino Bimon. Next, we are playing four, of course, of the Blue Imperial Dramon. A little shiny there because the cards are shiny. Incredible. Love it so much. And then two Omnimon, which is, you know, also pretty standard. The Omnimon is amazing. Uh, next, we are playing the Davis. Three Davis here. Super fun. I love that, you know, I love the flavor of the hybrid Digimon, <laughs> like like Agunimon and Lobomon Digivolving on the Tamers. I think that's a really cool throwback to Season 4, uh, or Series 4. I think that's <laughs> that's just amazing, so it's really cool. Four Hammer Spark, non-negotiable Hammer Spark, and then two uh, Kokaitis Breath. This is the deck, this is the lineup, this is what I'm playing for the Top Cut event. It has been really fun. It's been really great. The only match I lost to, so I was... Round one, I played against D-Brigade with Blastmon, actually. It was a Blastmon D-Brigade. And I actually uh, I actually got there in three. One of the games I totally bricked on, and I just got blown out. So that was round one. Round two, I played against Rookie Rush. Excellent match. That's actually on, that's actually on my YouTube channel. Next round, I, I played against an incredible... Uh, um, Yellow War Great Player, and I end up getting there. That's on the that's on my channel as well. And then next, in the last round, I lost to Red Yellow Control. That's going to go up my my unfortunate loss, but excellent match. No, it was a great night of matches, and I'm hoping to have another great run this weekend. And yeah, feel free to feel free to comment any suggestions. Anything you would change? This list is pretty tight, but I know there's always room for changes. 
I've seen like, uh, you know, my buddy's playing Positron Laser in his. So there's a lot of variants. So if you feel like something could be done better, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope to see you uh, maybe play against you at the, uh, the tournament this Saturday. So, all right. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Happy Friday.